Hi everyone, welcome to Coffee Table Talks. Mm, that's good. I'm Pastor John Bell, and today I'd like to talk to you about worldview. What is your worldview? This is particularly what we're going to talk about today, particularly for Christians. Because Christians are given a lens in which they are to see the world, and the lens is truth. So we start with truth, and this lens in which we see things in the world is the lens of truth. And it's sort of like a filter as well. We can filter all these philosophies and ideas and all these things that are thrown at us, all these messages and uh, systems of messaging, and we can filter it through truth. And we have that truth. So I want to look at Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, as we understand uh, how we understand things. It says this. We're going to break this down. Colossians 2.8. First it says, beware. Uh, The Apostle Paul knew about what we're talking about today, that this was something that we needed to really watch. That's what what he's saying to the Colossians. He's saying, beware. That means be very watchful of certain things. And don't just blindly accept everything everybody tells you. And especially you think about today and all these messages and all these ideologies and philosophies and understandings about life, they're all coming at us so fast. And, and what he says is, beware, watch these things. It reminds me of the Bereans in Acts chapter 17, verse 11, where these group of people, they heard the word of God and they received it gladly. But then they said that we want to check it out. We want to filter it, measure it uh, according to God's Word. So um, the question is, are we able to do that? Are we, we able to measure every philosophy and idea? Are we able to measure it according to God's Word? Are we being aware? Um, being aware means looking at, um, um, understanding there are, are certain things that are coming our way that, that we're to exercise extreme, extreme caution with. And, and what he's particularly talking about, he says next, Beware lest anyone cheat you. So he sort of proposes that we're to watch. And there, there's people that we're to watch. That's why he says, if lest anyone. There, there's people that we're to watch. And it says, cheat you. Meaning they're trying to take something from you. They're trying to rip you off. That word cheat means to plunder or kidnap. So there, there are actually people that we are to watch out for, to um, be careful about, because they're bringing to us things that will that will take something from us. And what it is is they're they're trying to take the truth from us. They're trying to take and dismantle the the, the things that God has given us. So He says, "Beware, lest anyone cheat you, anyone rip you off, kidnap you." take you away. And here's the vehicle that he says that they use to do that. He says, through philosophy. So philosophy, the actual word means love of wisdom. He's saying, don't let let anybody steal from you what you already have, the truth in Christ that has set you free, that they're going to try to try to take that away from you. How? Through the vehicle of some sort of philosophy, some sort of love of wisdom Uh, some sort of uh, way to understand things that are not of God. They, they, They want you to be captivated, be dazzled. And what Paul was particularly concerned about was, um, People that were saying there's higher knowledge, higher wisdom. There's something that you can't understand through God's word or or the previous people that have come before you can't understand. But we've found the answer. We know the truth. It's beyond and we have this higher knowledge and there's pride involved in that. It It goes back to the first sin. It goes back to the Garden of Eden when Satan tempted Eve and said that, you know, there's something God's withholding from you, some some more, some wisdom, some higher knowledge, higher wisdom, or more progressive, or more sophisticated. They could have known this in the past. And, and these philosophies, we've seen this all throughout history with Kierkegaard and, um, um, I don't know, um, Freud even, and Rousseau, and 
um, Aristotle, Plato, Plato, all the way back, and all these different philosophers, Kant and um, Sartre and all these guys, and they keep saying, I found the truth and I found the answer, and all of those systems, they keep coming up empty, and that's what Paul says next. Let um, Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy, and then he says, empty deceit. What he's saying is the, there's deceit, there's trickery. And part of that trickery, the Bible says that Satan comes as an angel of light. So well-meaning Christians are falling into all these traps because they're being preyed on by uh, certain desires that we all want. You know, peace and harmony and love and unity and, and all these things. And, and so Satan, through men, brings these philosophies to try to bring people together and all of these things will compromise the truth if we're not careful and at the end of that he says empty philosophies so like um you know darwinism and uh critical theory critical race theory what we're seeing today um social justice these type of things they're empty philosophies they're, they're just like chasing rainbows it's like chasing shadows because there's no real answer to it and what it does is it undermines the gospel and that's what he says uh, next, he says that these philosophies and empty deceit, they're according to the tradition of men and the um, basic principles of the world. So what that means is these, these philosophies, they don't look to a higher authority. They don't look to an absolute truth, but they don't go higher than themselves. They're according to the basic principles of of the world and first John 2 16 tells us what those basic principles of the world are and in, in first John 2 16 it says all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh the lust of the eye and the pride of life meaning all self-centered all about man wanting to have the desires of his flesh power position fame glory materialism all these things just to feed the flesh and not the spirit. And then the final thing he says, these all are not according to Christ. So that's the whole thing right there. They're, they're not according to Christ. So our worldview, Christians, we always have to measure them according to Christ, according to what Christ said. The basic principles that we see in Matthew 16, 24, 26 that if we weren't if we're going to follow Christ we must deny ourselves take up our cross and follow him that our hearts are not to be set on earthly things and filled with fleshly thing fleshly things but our hearts and minds have a truth that's above and it comes from authority and it comes from God and it's an absolute truth and we filter everything through that and as um, Solomon, as he tried all these things of the world to try to find meaning in the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, whether it's wisdom, whether it's indulgence of the flesh, whether it was power, fame, whatever it was, at the end of all that, the end of the book of Ecclesiastes, he said, it all comes down to fear God and keep his commandments. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, this is so important. We have to have to measure everything by the truth of God's word. And if it doesn't measure up to the truth of God's word, throw it out. God bless you guys. See you next time.